Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I'm excited to be putting together this video for you because earlier today, uh, my fall and winter Whippersnapper Designs stamp image is released. So I have 20 new stamp designs to share with you and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what I've released with Whippersnapper. This is the first one, it's called Happy Harvest MT170. And the Whippersnapper website is there at the bottom, whippersnapperdesigns.com. And this stamp has a uh, harvest basket of pumpkins. It has a cute little hen sitting on a hay bale, which you no doubt she has tucked away several eggs there for herself. And then some um, harvested sunflowers in a bucket of water. So I think that image is really fun and great for fall. And a lot of my images uh, this release have a country or primitive style to them. So I, you know, I'm going to have fun with those. So this little hen uh, is a perfect nest, CT281. And she has um, tucked away a little nest for herself on an old kitchen chair next to some potted lavender. And this chair reminds me of a chair that my Uncle Jack gave to me years ago that I had in my flower bed um, for a long time until it finally just disintegrated. <laughs> I think all I have left now is the back, um, back of it that I'm going to use as a small trellis um, next year in my garden. So that's all that's left. <laughs> so there's that. And then I also have Fall Tin Tart. And this is uh, similar to a couple of other images that I've released previously. One of them had a tree and a snowman, and then I had Uncle Sam with some um, fabric stuffed star bowl fillers. Uh, so this is my fall design. So the scarecrow, the pumpkin, and the sunflowers. And then of course the um, tin here has a wire uh, hanger and some buttons there at the top for decoration. So this is CT285. Cute. And the last image for fall is Fall Harvest. This is MT169. And uh, of course it's some sunflowers in a great big mason jar. There's some pumpkins again in a harvest basket, some pears and uh, apple, and a homemade jar of jam. And then, of course, some strawberries in a fruit basket. So this is MT169 Fall Harvest. I think this would be really cute uh, on a big label that you were giving. Uh, maybe you have some um, harvest um, items from your garden that you're sharing with your neighbors, or maybe you're going to make some homemade jams. I think that would be cute. So moving on to Christmas, I have Country Santa. This is CT284. And Santa here is holding a few, of, uh, a few of his favorite hens. And there's one peeking out from behind him there as well. And I really like that uh, there's a big jingle bell on the end of Santa's um, hat. So I think this image is really fun. CT284 Country Santa. So there's that stamp. And then I also did a wreath. So this is Quilted Wreath. And it's MT163. And you can see it's just really nice uh, size, uh, like magnolia leaves maybe, with a great big bow. And I love the little berries that are uh, scattered throughout there as well. There's that stamp. Then I have the Christmas Swan, and she looks like this. And she has a beautiful big red bow on her neck as well. And this is CT282. And I love uh, swans at Christmas. In fact, um, this is a swan similar to one that we have on our fireplace mantle. She's carved out of wood. And there she is. Cute. Then I have Santa ornament. And this is uh, reminiscent of old um, uh, vintage Christmas ornaments, and I've seen some that are in the shape of Santa's face, so I wanted to uh, create a stamp design similar to that. And they're always really sparkly and glitzy, so I've added some little areas here that might be um, extra shiny like silver. Um, but I think Santa's little face there turned out really cute. So this is Santa Ornament CT287, excuse me, 278, CT278. And there's a bow on top of the ornament hanger there as well. There he is, really cute. 
Uh, then moving into um, more of just uh, holidays, here are some prim candy canes in a vintage colander. And um, in addition to the prim candy canes, there are some pit berries as well. And one of the candy canes has uh, two big jingle bells tied onto it. This is Colander and Canes MT166. And I love this stamp. I'm excited to color these images. And I think I might um, start with one of these that have candy canes. So that's that image with the colander. And then I also have uh, this one here, it's called Candy Cane Pot, and this is like a big cast iron kettle uh, filled with those prim candy canes and pit berries. And this is MT167. And we have a great big cast iron um, tea kettle like this. I should say my parents do. <laughs> so love that. Reminds me of um, home. Then I have Snowman Berry Basket. So here's five cute prim snowmen uh, surrounded, surrounding a tree. It has a cute little angel on top of the tree and they're all sitting in a berry basket. This is CT276. And I love this image too. They all have like little rusty bells um, on their bellies. <laughs> so there's them. And I have several images that have the berry basket uh, theme. And I was inspired by this little basket that sits on my desk. Uh, it never actually leaves my desk. This basket was given to me by my friend Julie for Christmas one year. And I even have a little cute package of gingers that um, Kelly in Idaho sent to me last year. So thank you, Kelly. And of course I have a little candy cane that's tucked in here and bells and pine cones, all kinds of little goodies. So this was very much uh, inspiration for the images that I created this year. Then I have Rustic Joy Snowman, MT168, and he's like a little softy snowman that's been tea dyed, and he has a little Joy primitive tag on him that's attached with a rusty jingle bell and a rusty safety pin, and of course he has some buttons there on his belly, a great big scarf, and he has some little um, tin or silver stars uh, on his hat. So I think he's really cute as well. And then I have Folk Art Snowman, and this is like one of those um, uh, figurines that are carved out of wood with different uh, designs on them. So I wanted to design a snowman that had some folk art images on them. And then of course he's holding a garland with stars as well. And there's a snowflake pattern on his hat and his vest. So this is CT283 Folk Art Snowman. And there he is. I think he's really fun. I like the moon on his sweater. <laughs> then I have Starry Snowman. So another snowman with the stars um, holding also a bigger star wand. And he's also snuggling a little ginger. So this is Starry Snowman CT275. And of course, what snowman do you know that doesn't wear a sweater and mittens? <laughs> So really cute, fun image. Uh, another snowman is Snowman with Gingers. This is CT277, and this is another prim snowman, and he's holding a little garland uh, with the wood beads at the end, like the uh, farmhouse garlands do have. And then it has also three little gingers there across his belly. And I think he is cute as can be as well. <laughs> So CT277, Snowman with Gingers, and there he is. And he's got a great big heart on his chest as well with a button detail. So cute. So excited to have these. <laughs> then I have Winter Country Shelf. And um, this one also features that great big um, cast iron kettle. Uh, it features the garland with the gingerbread and then the country shelf that I love doing so much with all different kinds of seasonal decor. And one of my favorites was this candle right here. And this also has a little sheep on it. So cute. MT162 Winter Country Shelf. And there's that design. I'm going to be busy, busy. Gingerberry Basket. 
So again, another one of my berry basket designs. This is MT164, and this basket has five happy gingers in it and three prim candy canes. And I think they are just cute as can be. And there they are in their happiness. <laughs> And then I have gingerbread skate. Um, I always put up some a pair of skates um, at Christmas time. Um, my mom and uh, her sister, mostly my mom, but my mom and her sister uh, were ice skaters uh, when they were younger. And uh, so ice skates at Christmas time always remind me of my mom. And this one has a couple of great big jingle bells on it. And of course the ginger, a couple of candy canes, some um, pine sprigs and two ornament balls as well. So gingerbread skate CT279. And there's that stamp. And then I have a um, label. This is a two from label. It's a gingerbread tag CT280. And it has that really smiley gingerbread, um, a couple of candy canes, and the pine boughs there as well. And it's a curved design and has the stitching there as well, of course, the two from. Gingerbread tag, and there it is. It's a beautiful size. Love it. And then the last stamp I have to share with you may be my favorite. <laughs> I don't know, I have a lot of favorites in this release, but this one might be my favorite. Gingers and Candy Canes, MT165. These gingers are so cute in one of those little flower sifters. There is a uh, tag here that says for you, and this ginger is holding a candy cane, and this one up here is just surrounded by prim candy canes and pine boughs. So this is MT165, Gingers and Candy Canes, and I love this design. There they are. So I will put a link down to the Whippersnapper website down below. Please check them out. Um, I would love to hear in, in the comments below if you have a favorite, which one is it? And uh, just what do you think of this season's release for Whippersnapper Designs? So let me know. And then also stay tuned for future videos because I have some stamps to do uh, giveaways. So um, I have some things planned and uh, there will be some giveaways for a few stamps. So stay tuned for those details. And um, I'm also gonna be doing a hidden giveaway soon. So you never know when I, I just might uh, randomly draw a name out of the comments down below. So let me know which one might be your favorite. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. Bye.